how you doing everybody? Welcome back to the One Number YouTube channel. I'm Eric Parker and in today's video I am looking forward to showing you how to turn a group in Tableau Desktop into a calculated field. A couple of the places I've found this to be most helpful is situations where I'm trying to blend two data sources together or even join two data sources together. You cannot reference a group as one of the fields um, in a join clause, for instance. There are a few other limitations of groups as well, but that's one of the main use cases. So you can see on the uh, sheet that I'm showing on my screen right now, I am showing sales by employee um, and rolling up those employees to their managers. Uh, and then you can see if you look at my data pane, that manager name is a group. So before I started filming this video, um, I created a group where I said, okay, you know, these employees belong to this manager, for instance. So let's say I've got some data in another spreadsheet that I want to be able to join into this. So like, for instance, I've got this sheet here, which tells me the manager name and which region that they manage, right? Uh, so I want to turn the manager name group into a calculated field so I could use it in a join. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a calculated field, and I'll call this manager calc. And I'm going to show you why I would not want to do this the longhand way. So I'm going to start by using the case statement, similar to an if statement, allows you to write conditions on a line by line basis. So I'm going to say case employee name, and I'm going to pick an easy name here for the sake of pronunciation. So when Locke Edric, okay, then Cindy Lawson, okay, uh, when Melise Jardon, then Cindy Lawson. So if I don't mind, I could write this out line by line like this, uh, but I've got 50 employees and in the real world, I've come across situations where we're talking about maybe hundreds of values and it's just not worth doing this one by one, not to mention the fact that you could be introducing all kinds of funky little issues like um, typos and stuff like that. So I would rather not do it like so. Uh, but just for the sake of uh, an example, I'm gonna copy one line of this for syntax and I'm actually gonna show you how to do all of this in Excel. Um, I ran into some issues when I was trying to do this in Tableau, so I've actually found it to be a little bit easier to do some of this text editing in Excel. If you're not super familiar, Excel's you know concatenating of text values is a little bit different than Tableau, but it's not too horribly complicated, and I'll uh, provide the code that I use for today's video um, in the description so that uh, you know if you wanna reference that, then you can. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up a helper sheet. Got my caps lock, nice. All right, so I'm opening up a helper sheet here and I'm gonna put employee name and manager name on rows. Okay, so you'll notice something um, about these names. There are no apostrophes. Um, this is like my fifth or sixth time shooting this video now, so I am going a little bit crazy. Um, and I kept having issues where there'd be apostrophes in names, but Tableau was reading those as quotes, so it thought that the name was ending when it was like O'Callahan. So it thought O was the last name instead of O'Callahan, and I was losing my mind. So uh, I just got rid of all of the names that had apostrophes or removed them. Um, so there might be a little bit of manual intervention needed, you know, in your real world, or you might need to strip apostrophes for this to work. Anyways, uh, I'm going to select one of the ABCs or one of the data points and use the control A keyboard command to be able to select all. And then I'm going to select view data in my tooltip. And I just want to copy both these columns, employee name and manager name. So I'll hit copy. Now I'm gonna to go to my blank Excel workbook and paste those as uh, columns A and column B. So column C, this is gonna be my um, condition calculation. So now I need to basically write out what I have here as a calculated field. So the function that you want in Excel is called concatenate. Um, let me just zoom in a little bit just to make this easier to see for you. So I'm gonna say equals concatenate opening uh, parenthesis. So the first piece of text is the word when space in a quotation. So I'm going to use double quotes to open this up and I'll say when space single quotation, double quotation. First, first piece done. Comma, 
now employee name, so A2, comma, and now again, opening with a double quote, so single quote, that ends the employee name, space, then, space, single quote to open the manager name, double quote, end of piece three, comma, manager name, comma, double quote, single quote, double quote, close parenthesis. When Bale Tomzinski, then Cindy Lawson. Okay, so I'm going to select that first cell, double click in the bottom right corner so that it fills it all the way down my sheet. And then I don't want to accidentally copy the actual formula. I want to copy the text. So I'm just going to copy column C, paste it in column D, and I'm going to use the little drop down here to do a paste special and choose the clipboard with the one, two, three to be able to paste the values. Okay. So now you can see that when I select it, instead of showing the actual formula up here, it's actually showing me the text. So now I can grab those when Bale Tomzinski all the way through when Steffi Brockman. I'm going to copy, flip back to Tableau. I'm going to create a calculated field. And OK, so this will be my manager name calc. I'll say when, or sorry, rather case employee name. And I'm going to paste everything that I just copied from Excel and just type in end. And praise the stars, it worked. Oh my goodness. Like I said, this is like my sixth time doing this. So, you know, hopefully this doesn't take you as many times as it took me, but it's not returning an error. So I hit OK. And manager name calc, you know, I should be able to pull it out here and it should look the exact same as the manager name group, right? Except it's all in a big calculated field. So I kind of simplified things in my opening remarks of this video. I cannot reference a calculation like this in a join. But what I can do is I can copy everything that's in this calculation, go back to you know, uh, my data source tab. And now I'm gonna double click here so I get out of relationships and into the place where I would do joins. And I'm going to grab my manager sheet, which converts managers to uh, regions. And I'm going to say employee name, uh, which is actually manager name. So that's a little bit funky, but employee name equals. And now I'm going to create a join clause. So, or wait a second, actually, no, no, I'll, I did this backwards. Where it's employee name right now, uh, because this is, I think it's right. Let me think about this for a second. Yes, this is where I need to do the join clause and insert my manager name calculation. And that will equal manager name one. And voila, notice that it all came through. Uh, so now I could pull region into this worksheet as well. So I could see, okay, well, you know, whose region is doing the best. So let's say I just take employee name out of this and do a sort. And I could see that uh, John Salazar's region Canada has the most sales this month with $181,000, right? So one more time to reiterate, why did we just go through all this? Well, if I go back to this join here, notice that that manager name group is not available to me as an option to be able to join on, um, nor is the manager name calculation. I had to actually create a join calculation with our kind of custom clause there. And so, you know, in the sake of a few minutes in Excel, we were probably able to save ourselves probably at least 15 or 20 minutes, not to mention the troubleshooting that we would have had to done if we did it by hand and there were, you know, joins that weren't working correctly and, and all of that. So, yeah, hopefully that's a helpful tip for you in uh, turning a group into a calculated field. Appreciate you dropping by and look forward to catching you on another video soon.